all right everybody welcome back to my medieval dynasty let's play episode two where we start to build the necessary buildings for our up-and-coming village to gain his first villager um we start out with a building cap uh that is located right here in our manager tab uh one out of five that one building we just built in the last episode and um in order for us to kind of expand our our number with this thing so it's not at five we need to get into a development stage or into a higher stage which will be done via the dynasty reputations through side quests story quests and so forth um that being said we need to create four or we need to create four essential buildings that will cap out five out of five that will help kind of um, push our village into kind of like a better state Okay, um, the four the four buildings kind of revolve around getting our first villager. So first things first, obviously, um, we need a place to kind of store our tools and um, and some food. So that's probably the first one that will be located in the the houses. Oh, not the houses, the production maybe. No, not production. I can't remember. Oh, the storage is right here. First one will be the resource storage. This this allows villagers to uh, consume kind of like firewood for the winter, any sort of tools that they need. Um, also, for, uh, put to uh, things that they produce for uh, like workshops, smithery, and so forth. We also need to get access to the food storage. For in order for us to do it, we need to make a small little farm for us to access it. But we need the resource uh, storage level one, also food storage level one um secondly we need to create some sort of a job where our first village would do which will be the um the hunting thing and we got to get the hunting lodge that allows us to get like a passive amount of meat um furs and um any sort of materials for us to make more things in like a sewing area and so forth okay um so that is extremely um, crucial for us in order for us to progress in the game um lastly we also need to make a, an, a ho another house uh we have to have that villager stay in another house um because they can't live with us that it will drop their mood dramatically because they want to have their own kind of set space so um during this episode we're going to hopefully build all four of those building uh, buildings and then in the next episode we'll start recruiting our our first vill villager and hopefully that should be a pretty good um kind of start to our series now and um let's go on and let's start figuring out some stuff okay first things first i'm gonna go ahead and collect some stones like we usually do break some knives and get some more gold i think we're we have very little gold right now i think we have 161 that's not enough okay we i want to make a sort of a small little plot uh for our first little farm that we're gonna do that we can maintain um that being that being said we don't want to make a, a super massive just farming system right away where we won't we, we won't be able to uh keep up with production and get the right fertilizer and so forth oh we got another skill actually let's go ahead and look at our skills real quick we have a couple different skills. We have another one in here and also one in production. I'm gonna go ahead and do the crafting knowledge. So when I craft stuff, I'm able to um, gain more knowledge. Actually, I'm gonna hold off to this real quick. So I'm gonna hold off on that real quick, um, but I'm gonna go over here and then we go to survivalist. So ten, another 10% 10 of less food and water. So that's good. Go ahead and let's go right here grab some more i'm gonna get a, go ahead and start crafting so i'm gonna make 16 stone knives and that's gonna be a decent amount of gold um like i said it's 20 gold per um per knife so it's gonna give us a pretty decent amount of good income right there so as you can see on the top right uh we have our survival checklist and that's something we need to use. set a, a rabbit or trap rabbit make a wooden spear hunt a wild animal survive this season so we're gonna go ahead and actually hopefully finish this little thing after we get we get done um crafting our knives so also i need to start doing some story quests like i said and start kind of progressing through the game a little bit more for us to um get a little bit going obviously last episode we kind of fought that uh, that warthog that we had and we almost died so at the beginning of every season our health even our food and, and water will kind of reset for the new season and hopefully we could try to make it to the next season if not we're kind of boned right there but um 
with that being said we want to make sure that we kind of set us set up set ourselves up for success through the next upcoming seasons we're in autumn right now or i mean spring right now um in our first season next will be summer after that would be um fall or yeah autumn and then after that will be winter and winter is pretty harsh in this game if you're not set up correctly so we need to get things up and rolling after we get up done with these knives Looks like we're done with making those knives. So I already locked another building kitchen. I'm going to go ahead and make the, the first little thing right here, the rabbit trap. The traps will be located right here. I'm going to go ahead and put that. It's cost 26, I believe. I'm just going to put it right here. So this will hopefully catch some rabbits, get some little bit of meat. Um, I don't really worry about too mu much of those, honestly. Um, to me, it's not really that, that essential. But I'm going to go ahead and make another spear. And I believe it, sh it doesn't auto equip then when we already use it so I have to equip it again I'm gonna put the shovel back on there also a spear pull this out let's try to go hunt something real quick while we're on our way to the village to gain stuff I need to look at this real quick. perfect all right all right we'll be on our way on the way we're gonna go ahead and try to find some sort of animal let's see what we can find. okay looking too good looking and grab some more sticks look at our little thing oh uh these ber berries aren't ripe yet so they are not gonna be very good for us just yet so uh they usually uh kind of ripen in the summer and that's where we can start kind of consuming stuff there are gonna be quests kind of tied to berries most of the time I wonder if this counts as an ammo. Let's see. Oh, it does. And we're going to go ahead and skin that crow real quick. Grab some feathers, and then we're going to sell it when we get to the building. Or get into the next village. One thing that I'm going to buy right away, if you can tell, I think. Uh, we don't have a bag equipped. So let me... Look at this real quick. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and make a, uh, a simple bag that allows us to um, put down the seed, and also it could actually show us what kind of seed that we can actually purchase um, at settlements. So let's go over here, go over here, field, and then all these different things are open. The best time to plant any seed, really, other than obviously rye, is the spring time. So we're gonna be shooting for um flax seeds actually the reason why we do that is because uh flax seeds are actually sell um a lot more because we could gain a lot more from um from the actual stock itself which is really really nice and we're gonna hopefully get that for the next uh for the next uh summer and then hopefully we could um plant some other summer stuff that grow into spring hopefully cabbages i believe it would be our next thing right there but we're gonna go and focus on um, on uh, flex, uh, flex seeds, flex seeds, flex seeds, flex. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, just kind of cut out right now and uh, get, see you at the village. All right, when you made it to the village uh, during the our little walk, I actually made a little bit more knives um from some stones and say so we're at 27 sticks for, or 27 stone knives. So we're gonna go ahead and find. Oh, I think he's the one we're looking for, Edwin. He sh he sells Best all the, um, the all the uh, the seeds and so forth. So let's go ahead and let's go through our essentials. We're gonna go here. We're gonna oh, cash in five forty. So that's really good for us. We're gonna go ahead and kind of look at other stuff and see if we could sell this for, real quick. Get a little bit of coin, and then sell some feathers. I'm gonna sell all forty seven to get this. I'm gonna sell the the wooden fat with the wool fabric as well for one eighty and another wool thread for a hundred so we just gained over a thousand uh coin just like that i'm gonna sell this as well and then we're gonna go in and pick up uh some flax seeds this is what we want right here i'm gonna pick up the pick up 20 that's 300 gold it's very expensive to get started in this right here um that being said we can go to the fertilizer and get 20 of this as well 
so that leaves us with 20 fertilizer 20 flax seeds for us to fertilize the ground then plant the seeds right after okay it's very uh you listen to kind of like how we do things here so we're gonna go ahead and kind of get done with that let's go ahead and finish up this quest right here as well Not sure where that behind the wall oh gosh okay never mind i guess they're behind the wall Maybe we could jump this oh come on come on ah oh, damn it won't let me all right we're gonna go around real quick that's fine I'm a little tired but yeah i'm gonna talk to yep Fix up some food. I've eaten a proper meal of weeks. Okay. Okay, perfect. And she has her own little story quest that she's gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of, kind of skip through this a little bit. You guys can pause if you guys want to read the story. Um, but a lot of these story quests are actually pretty in depth. Uh, there's just a lot of dialogue, and uh, let's spend the time to. <laughs> Who uh to um do that okay so i'm gonna go ahead right there we're gonna progress that story and then we're gonna go over here and i think we're gonna get a little faded yeah we're gonna go have a drink with the uh with, with my mother's friend should be in here the outside oh yeah he's right here there we go perfect listen we're gonna keep going on and we're gonna keep going no matter what you kind of pick it kind of gives you like a just a straightforward quest no matter what depending on um it doesn't really de depend what you or depend on what you pick but um it doesn't matter of uh, how many years you could do it and so forth so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna survive for this season we're gonna head back into our uh to our little village area and we're gonna sleep for the night and then we're gonna get started on our fields and hopefully get started on our first buildings okay so i'm gonna go ahead and i cut out again and i'll see you at the uh see you at our village all right we just made it back to our house it's probably uh probably midnight ish maybe and we're gonna go ahead and sleep in our house real quick um before we do that i'm gonna go ahead and light up our campfire i'm gonna roast some meat before our go ahead and do that there we go perfect looks like we are so hungry we are so thirsty but we'll deal with that in the morning okay not bad we go ahead and sleep in our bed sleep the next day perfect we're up and going our health gained back a little bit it is very foggy out oh my goodness okay hopefully that clears up I think it might be clearing up a little bit. But we're going to go ahead and make a hoe real quick. Mm, perfect. We're going to go ahead and equip it. And this will help us plant all of our stuff. Okay. First things first, I'm going to go unload some, some unessential food here real quick. So I'm going to drop off this ale. Drop off the porridge. I actually picked some berries by accident and some water. And I'm going to go ahead and also put the yolk rolls in here as well. So I'm going to go ahead and eat some food. Then after that, I'm going to drink some water. Oh, I accidentally ate something, I guess. Oh, maybe some apples or something. Sometimes they poison. I'm going to go back to the river and drink some, drink some water. And then we'll get started on our farm. Perfect. So I was thinking about putting the farm, I think on the left side right here, I think behind the, the initial house probably would be our best bet. Go ahead and take out the stumps real quick. Get gains some logs. Then after that, I'm going to go ahead and get started. The way we um, kind of set up plots of farm is you're going to go to the buildings you're gonna go to farming and then you're gonna go fields okay so remember we're, we're gonna have 20 uh, we have 20 flax seeds so we're gonna go ahead and do that we need to go let's do one but i really wish they can rotate and stuff so but at first we're gonna go ahead hmm. 
I'll fix this real quick. Dang. All right, we'll just do it like this, just to make it easier. One, so we're at one plot, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20. All right, so this should be a good 20 plot land that will order for us to look at it. If you go over here, we go to um, go to management, go to crops, and then we have this right here. So we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20. And there we go. And that would be our first flax field. First things first, we're going to get out of, get out of hoe, and we're going to go in and start tilling the land or double up the land. So there's a couple sets for us to keep farming, but we're going to go ahead and do this. After the first couple one, we should be able to lock in the, um, the food resource thing in order for us to put food in for villagers. Just a second, hopefully. Maybe after we put down some fertilization, but... All right, it does use a bit of stamina, so we do need to be careful for that, okay? Uh, next thing up would be our fertilizer. We're gonna go ahead and equip it real quick, which our fertilizer will be right here. We're gonna go ahead and start laying down some fertilizer. Oh, there we go. We unlocked the food storage. So that's good. And that's hopefully that should be the last. I think we have everything else unlocked. So that should be our last um, essential building that we, we need to unlock. After this, we're going to go straight into uh, building um, the hunting lodge right into the resources um, buildings and then then build the house and then hopefully next episode like i said we'll get to go ahead and and uh, create our first or recruit our first villager this should be the last one perfect look at that beautiful field all right next thing up we're going to go ahead and pull out our black seeds or actually we need to kill this again now it turns into this nice well done dirt um that means the dirt and those and the fertilizers mix together well and we'll be able to um plant some seeds oh we locked the barn that's actually really useful the barn uh, um, will be extremely useful later on once we kind of get some sort of production going for the this for the seeds a lot of it will be done by by mostly me and then hopefully more and more villagers will start popping up and then that's when we will be able to uh, start some sort of production line. So we're going to go straight to the seeds. I'm going to start doing some seeds. All right. Looks like we are done laying down the seeds and we just have to wait for next season for it to actually grow. Okay. So after done with that, obviously we could like put like a fencing around and it's over. There's no animals that will mess with their um with your crops in the game so we don't have to worry about actually putting a fence around it but it actually does look pretty good with it let's go ahead and check our uh, rabbit trap real quick see oh we actually caught something perfect this is actually happens quite a bit it's more or less like an instant having some two fur and meat type of grinder right now oh we also we have a uh, moose over there oh, a couple mooses i guess all right perfect all right next thing's up we're gonna go ahead and start putting down the foundation of our new um areas so first things first we want to put down the hunting lodge hunting lodge will be kind of far away farther away from the uh from the initial village um the reason why we want to do that because um it it no matter what the villager will do the job depending on where they're at but um, in order for us to get kind of like the animation of them like going around and hunting we want to kind of put it a little bit farther out so we could go ahead and put that right here i guess it's kind of farther away it, a lot of stuff won't be able to touch it i'm gonna go ahead and clear up the uh the land a little bit as well and we're gonna just need stone for the foundations 
Let's grab a couple over a couple pieces. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Also, our wood hammer just broke. I'm going to go ahead and make a new one. Um, but that that will be our hunting lodge area. And then we're going to go ahead and go straight to our services, go to resource buildings. And then we want to build these kind of closer together, more centralized, um, more centralized to this thing. So for, I think I'm going to put the resource building kind of closer to the the main house which it could just be right here. It's kind of building on a slope, which I don't really like, but I mean, whatever works. So we're gonna go ahead and kind of, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, go third, third person real quick. I guess it would just go right here. Maybe, maybe we could put it at an angle, put it backwards. I don't really like that. Yeah, so I'm just gonna put it right next to the house. I think it'll be fine. That's not too bad. I like I like that. It kind of takes up a decent amount of area too. Um, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and destroy that real quick. Um, I'm gonna put the um, the food storage right here. The reason I want to do that is because it's kind of closer um, to my first industrial house, also closer to the farm. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Put that on there looking oh that looks pretty good actually and then we're gonna go ahead and put the the production or the um, resource building on this side fun oh geez struggling resource right here and then this doesn't have to be symmetrical i mean a lot of people like to kind of do like symmetrical things um I don't really mind that in my village. I'm just going to go ahead and start chopping some trees real quick. Try to lay out the... Uh... We want to be careful for falling trees as well. They do hurt, but like I was saying, um, a lot of people kind of like the, it's pretty aesthetically pleasing once you start getting things together. At first, it's not going to look too good, but um, as soon as you kind of start plopping things kind of everywhere, that's when your villages start to kind of form and it would just start looking nicer. Oh, some good initial starting wood, too. Oh, please. All right, perfect. All right, so that would have hopefully bring up um, a lot of wood for us to kind of start as well. So that's really helpful for us. Oh, we all have to do a new level again. I think that's I think that's all actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and start digging up some of these logs. I think I'm gonna just pick up a good majority of them. So we have some room. Go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna go into my inv inventory. Let's go to that. Go to logs. I'm just gonna drop it so it could go into one neat stack. There we go. We go back to my shovel. Start taking this out. All right, and that hopefully that should be a good amount of area for us to kind of start figuring out. So let's get go back to our resource area. Come over here. Let's go back to third person. Let's see what we can put. Want to put it in? I just put it like farther away, like right. Well, let's put it a little bit at an angle. You not look good. Or should I just put it like that? I don't know. I'm gonna put it at an angle. That looks good. I like that. It kind of faces towards everything right here. I actually kind of like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and start kind of looking for some stuff. Okay. I'm gonna go build. I'm gonna go gather some more some more stones, and then hopefully by then I should have. A decent amount of wood gathered and um, stone sticks and so forth. A majority of the materials that we're going to be using 
um, especially for the resources uh, shed also the hunting lodge would be um, the stone for the foundation sticks for the areas and also or sticks for the walls and then thatch for the roof as well oh, there's that 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 bandit cap we experienced last episode that that was very scary um, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut out again and I hope to see you in a little bit all right we are back i gathered some some logs here and also i've got some uh, straws and um a lot of sticks so we're gonna go ahead and start getting started on this uh project right here let's pick up these logs we gonna do a little bit at a time because i'm super slow come over here let's start building the framing of the hunting lodge wrap the rest of this real quick a little bit heavier Perfect. All right, next thing up will be some logs and some sticks. so now we are we are kind of close to completing some of the walls right now i do i did run out of um out of logs a lot of the stuff um you have to use logs for kind of like the the base or the, the the frame of most of like the walls and so forth so we're gonna go behind over here a little bit venture out we're gonna start cutting some maple trees down and grabbing a little bit more um logs and hopefully that should be the rest of the um, the logs that I do need in order for me to co complete this building. Um, some stumps that I am going to leave because it does take a couple years for them to grow back. And they just kind of look excitedly pleasing for now. So I'm going to go ahead and take down three maple trees. And hopefully that's all I should need. It's always the hope. Perfect, grab some logs. Uh, always so tired. There is way to preserve. Um, oh, I'm so slow. I, God dang it. Okay, I need to drop a couple logs. I'll drop that. Uh, there is a way to preserve um, some sort of... Uh, stamina in order for us to complete or for us to kind of get things placed and so forth. So I'm going to do this. There we go. That takes a little bit of stamina. I'm going to complete that. Put some build sticks real quick. And this is the door frame. This is missing some logs, so I'm going to go ahead and go actually go inside the house. We start putting some straw down for the uh, for the roof. Um, we, I need to do. I do need to think about the conditions of the um, of the house as well. Um, for instance, um, the lower the tier, so there's hunting lodge one, two, and I think there's three. I can't really remember. Most tiers kind of go up to three, but um, you're able to upgrade the the framing of the house to make it a little more stable for for people to um, upgrade a little bit more, so for the conditions not to wear down during the seasons. Actually, so close for this hunting one to be done. We're so close, we're just missing some more logs. So I'm gonna go back hang here. We I didn't finish getting these logs right here. And after this should be our last logs that we do need to cut. Uh. 
Oh. Grab these sticks and these rocks, I guess. Probably not the best idea. God dang it again. Yeah. Hopefully, up this right here. I think that should be enough. That, that should be enough for for the building to be complete. And that's kind of all I'm worried about right now. Okay, there we go. Okay. Oh, I'm missing two more. Oh, I just unlocked a woodshed. The woodshed is extremely valuable. We need to unlock that um, before the winter. The reason why we need to do that because we need to provide firewood for people. So getting somebody who uh, constantly getting us wood, making planks for us and making firewood is very essential right there. So we're gonna go ahead. This should be this should be the last one. Last one. There we go. The hunting lodge is complete. Obviously, um, there's nobody in here working anything. You could you could you put tools for people to use this. For instance, the um, the hunting lodge will use mostly knives. So if you want to upgrade more, you could use knives, and that allows them to kind of go out and start up hunting and so forth you could also uh make bows so like the recurve bow we could do or the long bow we could also do uh we also need to uh, unlock it via coins as well so we, we could buy this we could we could buy some of this right here and make a bow but for now i'm just gonna hold off on it i'm gonna go to these other areas and i'm gonna go ahead and start building the foundation to it um and then hopefully get started on the framing okay so let's get i think this is the storage one so let's go ahead and yep right here put 12 stones down and like i said like the more you put buildings down just randomly i feel like the better the uh the thing the uh, village is going to be in my opinion so here's some more stones and you can also like just take down buildings too. It's a kind of big hassle, but um, you can always take buildings down if you don't like it. Ooh, there we go. And then I'm also gonna put down the house foundation as well. So our second house, I think I want it to be located right over here, or maybe I would just put it next to the food building right here. Yeah, just put it right here give it some sort of room for it to expand later and there we go oh our wood hammer is gone again let's make another one. Oh, we are very dirty as well i just noticed that on my hands and we're also gonna uh, buy pet it's kind of just like this house right here we want to make sure we kind of put the highest quality kind of materials for people so people don't get upset with us okay so depending on what kind of materials we use it off of it, depending on the mood of a lot of our people so come over here this will get to use a, a ton of uh, logs uh the next episode is probably gonna feature a lot of um a lot of exploring i think the, ent the entire um for the map i think that's pretty necessary for for us to kind of get acquainted uh, acquainted with the entire map kind of go around kind of look for um things that we should probably kind of start worrying about okay this this whole building is going to take a ton of sticks so i'm going to go ahead and start getting kind of getting cracked at it and then um uh later i, I will go ahead and um kind of cut to um getting logs and so forth so there we go there's one long there's two walls three walls Jeez, like I said, there's a there's a ton of sticks that is used for these all these buildings, all these materials. It's just a lot of materials gonna go off of. So we do need to think about that. Next day will be the start of a uh, start of summer. So we do need to think about that. That's that's when our food production will get going. By the end of the summer, uh, we need to have some sort of uh, production of uh, food as well as. Um, as well as kind of a a growth of, of villagers spiking. Oh shit! Whoops. We might have enough um, sticks to finish this part, which is actually really nice. Oh my gosh! 
gosh see i'm telling you this is a ton of sticks um up there we're gonna still we need a ton more straw like i said a lot more logs everywhere this this is actually a pretty big project okay And there we go. There's our sticks um, that we get to be used for this thing. I think I have one more stick, so I'm just going to plant it right over here. Oh, two more. There we go. And then we get to still need a lot more sticks, a lot more straw and so forth. So and also over here. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of get started on um, putting out a lot of trees. So I will be back after a good amount of um, deforestation. So all right, be right back. All right, we are back, and um, we gathered actually a bit of a, a bit of logs. This is probably not going to be enough. We gathered twenty logs, so I'm going to go ahead and start constructing some stuff right over here. That's pretty good. Yep, we'll start finishing up these walls. There we go. And we are still needing to do the top layer. So let's go. Oh, there goes my bad. And that's going to use another log, unfortunately. Dang it. We're also going to go take a little dip, too. Um, after we do this. Oh, I have to re equip it. I really wish there was some sort of like re equip option after you're done with the tool. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It's kind of weird. Gonna go ahead and I guess finish one side right here. some sticks all right and we are done oh my goodness we need oh i need to drink something real quick i don't die okay i get a little bit of water let's get oh that was close i honestly was not paying attention to that so all right so it looks like it's close to halfway done i'm gonna go ahead and take a little dip in here drink some water as well there you go. I became less dirty. I'm also going to pick some reeds again. Try to get a lot more reeds because the ones that I have in my house, it will not cut it. Like I said, these do respawn back. Um, I'm not sure about every season just because they kind of go through a cycle, but I think they spawn back um, when it hits spring again. So that's when they kind of spawn back and we could gather some more reeds. This is we there is a hut or a, another production thing that you could do for a villager to gather uh, rocks, st um, rocks, uh, reeds and like limestone and stuff. But we're not going to that's going to be later on. All right, I'm going to I think I'm going to get to let's get to 80. I'm going to get to 80. And then we're going to go ahead and um, go and sleep, get to our next um, our next season. I'm kind of excited for this because that's what, uh, sp summer is probably my favorite. Um, my favorite season, honestly, summer. Yeah, summer and uh, spring is probably my, my favorite ones in order for just because a lot of things happen. We had the summer update happen to the game, so it just made it a lot more prettier. Um, so that's also plays a factor in that. But let's go ahead and go inside and uh let's sleep in the bed next next season all right we are slowly starting to build up this last portions of the resource thing i think this is the last ones i need to do and there we go we have the construction of the resource building and like i said this building will handle all of all of our um wooden planks uh, sticks, um, tools, everything that villagers would need for them to uh, kind of get uh, started on their thing. Lastly, we're going to come right over here and hopefully let's start carving out a little bit more of an interior rope for this. Put this down. There we are. Oh. Go ahead and let's start putting some more sticks down. Oh, directly outside, you can kind of see our flax garden. So that's actually really nice to see. 
um after we get done with this building right here i'll show you guys um kind of like the final product of it perfect more logs i'm gonna get on to finish finish off these sticks right here Perfect, and we're almost done now with the food storage, so that's really nice. So we're 42% in the way, so that's actually really, really nice. We gotta remember, we still have four right here, another four right here, some more logs I need to get done, but this is the flax right here. Uh, you need a scythe or a um, or another tool to be able to harvest this right here, but it's honestly not that big of a deal. Um, if you get a, a stone, I think it's what it's called right here. Actually, it's in production. If you get a stone sickle, it's the exact same thing. You you could use a uh, a scythe or a um, a bronze scythe and so forth. So the the scythe is, the scythes are pretty expensive. So we need um, we're just gonna probably stick to a uh, sickle uh, once we kind of start learning the smithery and so forth. Uh, but for now, we're probably gonna just gonna buy just a small little um, scythe or a small little um, sickle um, from the farmer. Uh, for us to even try to harvest this right there and i, I don't think i could pay, i i wouldn't pay more than like 250 gold for that just because um they're it, it just a lot of i think it's just too expensive a lot of the inflation of that entire situation is over there all right so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go in and finish up this building i'm also gonna finish up the the stone house it'll, it'll, it'll be the exact same replica of my first initial house but i'm just gonna go ahead and speed up the process i'm just kind of building this uh the house outright right here and then i'll go ahead and meet you guys back here in a little bit okay all right getting a quick update for you guys i just finished the uh, the food storage area so i just wanted to kind of show you guys a little bit of how that looks well, i'm going to go directly inside it's a little decorated inside it has some some carrots and uh looks like some onions it looks like onions and so forth uh, i think these are onions radishes maybe or whatever um and then also some cabbages and so forth but you also you just put food in here as soon as you put food in here come right here so you put some apples and put one meat go to food management now we have 5.0 food it, it is not enough to sustain um, um any sort of demands that we need for especially water and so forth so we're gonna go ahead and i i did start um putting some more resources into the building a little bit obviously i'm not done yet so it's gonna take a little bit more time for me to finish this but i'm gonna go ahead and uh, go and uh, continue on my my journey to of completing this this whole tire of house okay so i'll be right back all right we are back with the final products um our goal was to um but to create these essential buildings hopefully that we are in our next episode uh, we can recruit a new villager and it looks like we are able we will be able to do that for the next episode um it looks like we have our food storage all uh, up and running we have our our resources storage all up and running we have our hut located right over there for hunting and for our first villagers job and then we also build the house for them as well so looks like we have all the essentials for us to kind of progress in the game um i think this episode was pretty build heavy so next episode i'm gonna go ahead and focus on exploration and hopefully doing a lot of more quests trying to get some more coin trying to set up for uh fall right over here like i said when we go uh venture out i think we're gonna do a route going through gustonia all the way to uh borough uh to this area and then all the way wrap around back into the thing i think that's where we're gonna wrap it up right there okay um yeah, so thank you guys for tuning in. I would really appreciate if you go ahead and uh, leave a like and a comment. And if you like these videos, go ahead and uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe, and I should be able to pump out some more videos. Like I said, this this first series will be slow. It will be a work in progress, and my editing hopefully will sh will start getting a little bit better and further on. But I really hope you I really hope you guys are enjoying um, this kind of like left let's play series and um thank you guys for tuning in i really appreciate it and i hope you guys have a good rest of your guys' day all right see ya